You can do this. You can do this. welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome I'm so happy you clicked on this video today this is gonna be the fourth and final video in my DIY wedding series on my channel if you haven't seen the rest of those videos I will link the playlist down in the description box below and then I will just try to link them in the cards right here throughout the entire video so keep an eye out for those so if this is the first time you are clicking on one of my DIY wedding videos, in the other videos I pretty much broke down how I did all the DIYs that I did for my wedding back in 2015. I saved so much money doing it this way and I highly recommend it. I know that it can be stressful to do DIYs for your wedding but I honestly don't regret any of it and I tried to do a couple DIYs where I could do it ahead of time and the last video I did I was able to do that ahead of time. And in this video today I'm going to be talking about how I did our wedding favors. Sometimes wedding favors can be an afterthought for some people. I know that when I go to weddings personally I like things that are edible, something that you can use, either a bag of chocolate covered pretzels or a bag of M&Ms. I don't know, something that I can eat because I'm a foodie. I just love food. So for our wedding favors, I ended up going with hot cocoa mix. I know that sounds very different, but our wedding was a fall rustic wedding and it just went so well with the theme and it wasn't too hard to do that I knew it was perfect for our wedding. In total, the wedding favors cost me $215 to do everything. So that includes all the materials, all of the packaging that I ended up putting it in, and it turned out great. The recipe that I used for the hot cocoa mix was Alton Brown's recipe, and I will link that down below in case you're interested. It was honestly the perfect recipe to use. There was one unique ingredient, so if you guys take a look at the recipe, let me know if you know what the unique ingredient is. But I love the recipe. All of my friends and family absolutely love this wedding favor, so Actually, my one friend, she ended up taking like five of them home and using them in her coffee. So the day that I made them all, I had my sister come over and help me. I took all the ingredients and I mixed them into two large bowls and then I just mixed everything together and then I put everything in these little mason jars. So they're just little miniature mason jars. I will link as many of the materials that I use in the description box below. But they are just these little mason jars and they're round. I was able to buy these brown craft paper labels and I printed on them. I ended up coming up with my own saying, fall in love with the cocoa. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with that song, I'm in love with the cocoa. It's not really related to hot cocoa, but I found it hilarious. And it just went really well for our theme because I said fall in love with the cocoa. Obviously falling in love goes really well with a wedding, but it was also, our wedding was in fall. So the whole thing just went really well. The labels came with instructions on how to position everything. I think I used Microsoft Word to put it together, but they came with instructions to tell you how you can design the label and then also how you can print it as well. I put that phrase and then I put a leaf, a heart, and then I also put our names and our wedding date. So I know that $215 can seem like a lot to some people, but I was also looking on Etsy to see if I could do some sort of jam, something else that would go with fall, some sort of fall flavor. And those, for the amount of jars of jam that I would need for my wedding guests, which was about 150, would have run me closer to four to $500. So doing what I did with the hot cocoa mix ended up saving me a lot of money, again. So saving a couple hundred dollars was important to me. And not to mention, I put a personal touch on it, which I really enjoyed. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video, and that is going to conclude this series on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun putting it together and just reminiscing about our wedding day. It was such a special day for us, and I loved sharing all of that with you. So if you like this video as well as the whole series all together, please give this a big thumbs up. Drop some comments below. I love reading your guys' comments and responding to them. Please hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Bye. What is this? What is this? What is this, Herbianca?